Yeah, guys, today's tutorial is basically how to remove tattoos. Okay, now there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Now, what we're going to be doing here today, we're just going to do what they call content aware. Now, there's different ways you can do this, of course, which, as you can see in my previous uh, videos, tutorials that I've done before in the past. But what we can do today, we're going to use the Dasset tool. Okay, select that. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to go uh, drag it around the actual tattoo. This is pretty good, this one, because we've got the pigmentation of the skin here, so it's really showing up and it's quite clear. And um, so this is a really good uh, image to use for this one. We're going very close to the actual tattoo itself. Go right around like this. And okay, there we go. Now, there's all different ways of doing this content aware, but what we're going to do is get a simple, easiest way to do it. You go up to edit up the top here. All right, we're going to, to edit, get into fill, and make sure you've got content aware. Usually it's pattern or foreground color, background color, all this type of thing. Content aware, and we hit OK. But that'll take a sample of the left and the right. There we go. That was pretty impressive. There's a couple of bits and pieces here and there. You can see around here. It's uh, a little bit blurred compared to that. But see, it's actually taking samples of this side and that side and merged them together. That's basically what content aware is. What I do to fix this up, any blemishes and stuff like that, is the spot healing brush or you can use the patch tool. Uh, spot healing brush is the easiest one to use at this stage. So we're just gonna draw around the area where the difference was. A couple of times like that, and that'll do us. That's the first one. I'm pretty much pretty sure that one's done. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use the patch tool. I'll just give you a general idea of what it's gonna be like. So you see where it's a little bit blurred so basically it's got little arrows that are coming up on the content aware tool. See the arrows up and under to the side. So if you just take it to the side, see that's going to be too bright. We don't want that. We want something darker that's going to match like that. So that's basically what we want. So that worked out quite well. All right, that's the first one. You can't even see the tattoo there now. Second one. Okay, this one's a little bit more involved so we're going to do the same thing again and see how far we can go with this now as we're getting very close to her clothing there the blue so it might not do a perfect result if not we have to use the patch tool and everything else just to fill it so you have to edit go to fill content aware <laughs> done pretty well a little blemishes here now those things we can use the patch tool. Go around that. And what I usually do, see how light to the dark, light to the dark. Keep it in that line. That'd be the best best way to do it. Something like that. There we go. And the next one. This is going to be a pretty straightforward, easier one. Get to the set tool, go right around, image. Now we've got redness as well because obviously this is a brand new tattoo. So we'll fix that up later. Fill, content aware. There we go. It's like magic, isn't it? Now, we go back to the patch tool. We go around this redness part. Let's take it out to there, get rid of that redness bit. There's a lot, a lot of redness there, get rid of that. It's, it's blurring it a lot more than anything else. You just constantly use the, the patch tool just to go around it, just to get what we want. Okay, like that. Now we've got light and dark in there, which we don't want. So we're going to go back to the spot healing brush, and just colour in that. That'll actually blend it in more. 
there's another tutorial about how to get rid of red blemishes and all that as well. So that'll be another another time. Um, we can give it a go. So what we'll do, we'll go up to the layers on the right here, go down to the, the bottom of the layer there, create a new fill or adjustment layer, and then go down to hue and saturation. And we get the eyedropper. It's probably not going to work. Anyway, we've got it selected, so we're going to make that brighter. There we go. Done. It looks like a bit of a bruiser in there, but you know, get a general idea. All right, now this one, we'll go to this one. It might be even easier. Okay, this one. Pretty straightforward, this one. It's going to be a nice and easy one. Fill. Content aware. Dead simple that one, done. All right, this one. Now this one's probably gonna be a little bit harder. Let's go do it bit by bit here. Select it, fill, content aware. Do this part. And fill, content aware. So we're getting there guys. We're getting there guys very slowly. We've got a mole there and a mole there, so it's interesting to see what happens. See, okay, they didn't pick it. So, we go fill, content aware. Now, there's another way of doing content aware. Uh, you get the content aware tool, content aware move tool, you can use that as well, which I prefer not to use. And basically what we're going to do with this one, we can move it like that. And it just actually moves the actual part that you've actually done. So that's what it does. It needs to keep on thinking until it can move it and move it and move it, which I really don't like. So we're going to fill, content away. Right, now here, I got that from the content aware when we were doing that before. So we get into the patch tool. So it's light on the bottom. And we can keep the same thing like that. That's better. Right, now she's got some little lines in the middle of her back there. So we're just going to spot healing brush. And we're just going to bring them in. And that way I've kept all the marks on the body. I mean, Paul Girl probably doesn't like the marks, um, but this is just a tutorial to get rid of the actual tattoos. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget, simple, any picture that you get, you want to get rid of something like a tattoo or a mark or something like that, you get the IC tool, select that, whatever it is you're going to do, Press around it, go up to edit, get down to fill, and make sure you've got content aware in here. And then nothing like that. And that's basically, we should have done that one. <laughs> okay, guys, make sure that you do a small section at a time, not the whole back. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.